Welcome back to the Jack Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from the Hot Pot Boys. Women nature. You know, women love money. I just can't help that. Like, they really want, you know, provisioning. Doesn't matter where they're from. Asia, Europe, you know, Americas. It's just that it's it, we, men understand this, but when women go about it certain ways, it's just we know it, it can't be seen as anything else than being greedy, right? Let's get to that chow. It's chow time. This Chinese lady just brought 23 of her relatives to a blind date dinner. And then she tried to sue the guy when he didn't want to pick up the tab for all of it. David, what is going on? Man. Like, I know in some cultures, like going out with like family with the, the woman and stuff is normal. But 23? And you're gonna sue the guy because he didn't want to pay? <laughs> God damn. This is one of the sillier pieces of news to go viral out of China. Long story short, Miss Song met Mr. Liu through a matchmaker in Jilin. Jilin is in Northeast China, it's Dongbei. And uh, they have a dinner together. She, They probably agree that she can bring a few friends or family members, but she shows up with 23 and they rack up a bill of $2,800 USD. That's a Twenty eight hundred dollars for twenty eight people or thirty uh, twenty three people, so twenty five people total. That's actually not that much money for twenty three people total. A gigantic dinner tab in China. Twenty five people total. He walks out when they try to stick him with the whole thing. She calls him, asks for at least half. He offers five fifty. She doesn't like it, so she sues him. And in the court of law, basically they determine he was only responsible for two hundred. Wow. <laughs> Love it, you know. Uh, she wanted half at least. He offered five fifty, sued him, got two hundred. That's what you get. That's what you get. He offered actually more than what you actually got from the courts. This is this is the part where I feel that greediness, the the gold diggingness comes in. Yes, again, some people, some cultures, they do you know take out the whole family, but not twenty three motherfucking people. Holy shit, that's a lot of people. And uh, without him even knowing, you know, and like it's usually used to vet. If the man isn't willing to pay, then let him go. Why 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 sue the man? Like that's the part where I have an issue with like big time. Wow, oh, guys, so we're going to get into the comments section and we're also going to talk about why is this story going so viral? It's pretty silly, but please hit that like button. Check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. I think it's going viral for two reasons. One, Andrew, there is sort of a manosphere versus what? Uh, womanosphere thing yeah. going on. On I want to say globally, yeah. not just the Western world. Yeah. It's funny, like these guys, like the Hot Pop Boys, don't really focus on these types of uh, content. And so <laughs> hearing them talk about it makes me laugh a little bit. Marriage rates, divorce rates, they're all... Well, marriage rates are going down. Divorce rates are going up. It seems like city boys, city girls, this is what, like some sort of global trend? Of course, it like has different names and details right. depending on which part of the world you're in. And number two, I think this is just a, like a, it, it's still negative, but it's a sillier piece of news to come out of China. It so silly. I'm glad that it's sillier, but yeah, I guess it's still on the new greedy <laughs> side. Like, Yo, man, this brings a new <laughs> meaning to the- That's how I felt about it. You greedy motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, if you marry somebody, you must marry their family too yeah but if you know about a lot of like traditional cultures or really big societies india china andrew sometimes you can find things you know we're talking about like manchuria right now like dombe that, that almost feel out of time mm -hmm. right and if you use a matchmaking service some people that is still commonplace for family members to show up on the first day. yeah 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 no because no, no you're, I, you're looking I, more for marriage this is not like casual western city I agree with this. I think that's actually a pretty awesome way to vet people when you're going to dinner with the family or at least like the parents. I mean, like at least the immediate family, like maybe brother and sister and then, you know, mom and dad. That's that's fair. That's actually fair. I'm not going to be upset about that. But 23 people? You're pulling out all your cousins, all your aunts, all your uncles too? Like, geez dating you yeah know? i mean even sometimes i would say in america it's not the craziest thing for a girl to be like hey i'm meeting you up for the first time can i bring a friend see this is why like these guys aren't in the space so i was like dude women bringing friends is to take advantage of you to take advantage of the money to take advantage of your provisioning you know and simps are going to be the ones that are going to pay for their date and them bringing a friend like, in them bringing a friend, why should I have to pay for the friend? We're at, remember, we're in American culture. 
it follows by American standards. If I was dating maybe like, you know, an Indian woman in America that's super Indian, and then she wants to bring, you know, her father or, or you know, her, her sister or brother, I can understand that. But when Americans do it, they're doing it just to get free meals. She's really cool, and then, like, you know, us two, like, I've heard of that but before. But it's less common in the West, it's for sure. It's less common in the West, but I've heard one friend coming. Correct. And then, obviously, in more traditional societies, maybe one parent or one relative comes. Right, I get as that. crazy as that sounds to yeah. Americans, believe me, guys, America is a, the, the youngest country. But, Other societies, they, they're super old. But 23, this is this is how to stay single 101 right here. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, let's get into the comment section. Somebody said, I can see why she's still single. Imagine this guy's <laughs> lifestyle if he actually married her, if she's bringing 23 and expecting him to pay for all 23 off the rip. You know yep. what? I, I can't, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Miss Dong, she doesn't look bad looking, all right? She looks pretty. <laughs> But I, it's probably not worth it, man. Already, somebody's bringing this much drama into your life. That is crazy. Also, like, what? See, like, they're not even red pill. They're not manosphere guys. But they're even their thought process and how much of a spine and balls these guys have. Like, kind of leans towards red pill. Like, they even say it themselves. Like, how they speak. You know, like in my opinion, yes, they're not manosphere, but they're solid men with you know balls. A miscommunication to have. Yeah, yeah, I mean, honestly, she was probably like, "Yeah, can I bring two or three? He's like, "Yeah, two or three is fine." Oh my gosh, this twenty three. <laughs> Where are you in there? What are you in? You sure earn I just saw. <laughs> my question is how do you sit through the whole meal and just eat it and was like looking at everybody here there i agree like, uh, he's like yeah he wasn't nervous who are like, they uh are they with you <laughs> man it looks like some people she just pulled off the street but apparently those were her legitimate family members right, hey right. like we said you know the Dongbei families they keep it tight somebody said uh i to be honest i've seen this happen before in china and india and even in the godfather there's a scene where michael wants to woo this italian girl when he gets uh, he has to run away to Italy, Apollonia, and she brings her entire chaperone team with him, and he's got to pay for the bill, too. So mm. basically just going to show people this is an old world tradition yeah. when people are, like, looking to court for marriage. Yeah, and I think especially maybe when it's, like, a man of a higher economic level trying because to marry— a woman a woman who doesn't have as much money. Then you kind of, like, show face by treating her family out, right? Now, to, now, now here's the logic behind it. I know it sounds crazy what I'm about to say. To Americans, I'm, this is sounding still no, crazy, right? I know, I know. So I think to bring the amount of no family members without him knowing is wild, but it is true. Like, what if he had paid for, like, a big feast for the family at, like, the village or something? Like, you know, if he's trying to woo, like, this beautiful girl from, like, a smaller town, and he's like, yeah, you know what, don't worry. I'll come by, and I'll feed your whole family, and, you know, right, things right, like... You know, like, I made the other video, and a lot of people, you know, are always saying, like, you know... Asians are probably the uh, Western Asians are probably the biggest simps out there out of all the men. And I, I 100% agree because of this, because our cultures and other, and where we're from, men just take care of everything. So when we come here, the Asian guys kind of do the same thing, but they don't realize the culture is different. You doing that is being, you're actually going to get taken advantage of by Western women because over there, yes, like he said, it's for marriage. You're meeting families, you're meeting all these people for marriage. Here is your dating casually. So many women are dating casually, and these Asian guys are like, oh, maybe she's the one. I'll take care of everything. But this woman is probably dating multiple men at the same time. So they're just getting taken advantage of because they're nice and they're providing, but they're not the ones that these women truly want to be with. So it, it really sucks for Asian men that really are like, like westernized but not fully westernized but then when they become fully westernized they're just become super blue pilled like it's just how it is too you're trying to show your economic health i mean honestly there was a lot of speculation that uh mr liu is not as good looking as mrs zong so see this is the other issue like them saying this is like so he's not good looking so he has to get taxed more like that's just stupid you know <laughs> like because like i'm sure western women think this way too you know if you're ugly you better be having a lot of fucking money for me to talk to you or, or some kind of status right so of course his value to her if her value is is her looks is his economic strength listen what I, he's good at i am a pretty dongbei woman i am han piao so you have to buy me everything <laughs> 
Somebody said that this is a result of the offset gender ratios in China. For example, uh, they say they say considering there's four men for every woman, these outcomes are pretty predictable. Obviously, I looked into it. Actually, the gender offset is 5%, which is still... Yeah, 5% is not four to every one woman. Get out of here, guys. Pretty big because genetically, it should be 50-50. But, um, yeah, I do think this creates certain things, especially with the felt focus on wealth in China. Like, yeah. you got to understand, there's hypergamy on the woman's side, and then there's, like, the guys using their wealth to secure a pretty, you know good wife yeah. i don't know guys you and guys that, know what i mean but, but you know like there's all these dynamics going on and then there's also the leftover woman dynamic where it's like women past the age of 30 or with like professional Shung. jobs yeah. yeah like they're not as wanted so i'm saying there's all these older single women or i don't want to say older but just like professional women who are single now who are, are having trouble getting married and then this girl is here making it super hard for herself I don't understand. There's probably more to the story. What if but. she's like, yeah, but I am just using it as a hard filter because the greatest life for me and probably my family will be with a guy who does not bulk at paying for 23 people. Yeah. Like, well, what if she's well, using it as a way to, she's like, oh yeah, Mr. Liu. Like, see, I can agree with him. If this is the filter system, then why would you sue the man afterwards? You just use it as a filter system. He wasn't willing to pay for 23. All right, move on. You're like, why go sue the man? Like, that means you really just want him for his money. He he was out of the pool already. Uh, Leo, you did not know, but I am actually <laughs> celebrating Thanksgiving, Western Thanksgiving today, and you were going to pay for the dinner. Of course, Andrew, there was a lot of guy comments on Next Shark basically saying, uh, was she hot? Like, from her picture, she does look pretty good looking. And I'm not going to lie, those relatives look like a bunch of hillbillies and hicks. <laughs> Hey man, it's funny when like you know I think about it like, like a like a, a impoverished family like they they just go about their day and then they get one daughter that's super gorgeous and then like they try to take advantage of every way possible of her like her looks to be able to get you know to lift the family up in any way possible. This is actually how Asia works too. So this is why um my family does not really I'm, I'm gonna say like like poorer families because of this issue i mean um what how much of a factor do you think plays in this i mean like we said we mentioned earlier we did not get a photo of uh mr leo but i think miss there, there's got to be some sort of looks difference yeah somebody said uh you know they're just taking advantage of people financially in a passive aggressive way that is so chinese <laughs> just like taking the whole tray of crab legs at the buffet when they hey, come out fresh. hey 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 i love crab legs and if it's gonna come out fresh I'm taking that shit. Doesn't matter if I'm Chinese or Cambodian or whatever it is. I just like crab legs. Oh, no, man. This, this, is this, like this is this is this is the level. part that goes to the more global negative news coming out of China, right? Uh, yeah, but I guess it looks bad on Chinese women more so. I guess I don't know. I, I, I to me, this is a more silly. St I'm not. I'm not using this as Chinese or anything. I'm just using this as women nature, right? This is this is literally women nature, just wanting to take as much provisioning as possible from men even before they even know them All right story it's almost laughable and it is does sound like something that could come out of any country i don't think it's like so beyond like something that could happen in india or russia you know it, it would have to be some sort of like country with an old world tint to it though yeah right? i like, can see it happening in countries in africa certain you know yeah maybe this was a manchurian ritual from the Qing dynasty i don't know 100 200 300 400 Yo, maybe, 500 years ago it sounds like society was definitely more like that back then but some people and some this was not shanghai you know where that they, they may be more like westernized yeah, like, maybe like seoul or tokyo maybe there's a cultural rift like that guy is coming from liu is coming from one city this girl's coming from one town and she's like yeah this is how we do things and Ji Lin, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Dongbei is different from the rest of China. It's a little bit, a little bit. Um, Andrew, let's get into our takeaways, man. I think that there is a lot of class issues involved here. He's probably got a lot of this money. This is true. So she's probably like, prove it to me. Prove it to me that you are going to be a good husband mm -hmm. to deserve me, Miss Song. Um, and I feel like in China in particular, this is going to be a sweeping statement, but money is more, com uh, more masculinity. Money and masculinity are mixed into the same drink, whereas in America... They're, those are separate drinks. You know what right, I mean? Right, like if right. you're made of drinks in your body or little compartments, <laughs> masculinity, <laughs> muscles, money, they're all separate compartments. Mm -hmm. In China, it's all like poured into one thing. Yeah, I agree yeah, with that. Uh, I would and I think this is why Asian men are like kind of, 
use their money as they think they're masculine because of money and uh it's not in the u.s it's you know muscle game you know and frame plus money and or, i mean money is also separate out of these things you know like if someone has muscle game and frame they might not need money they really don't and some people that have money might not need those other things but in china it's money is all of that it, it mixed into one so if you don't have money you're kind of not masculine at all <laughs> would say in a general statement yes so what do you think i mean does this have anything to do with the marriage rates in I, china I, I think so yeah yeah i think this is where i really take anything away from this silly story is like obviously this could happen in any country man there's a billion people in china so there's all types of news i mean it's also like when these women think they're the prize this is the other part of it like i'm the prize that you need to woo me and my family and do you know like to be able to take care of me for me to even like give you a time of day right when when you think about it are you really the prize like you're bringing 23 people that like you might be gorgeous you know but this man is probably really well off. This is why you're you're trying to take advantage of him that way. But he was smart enough to say, nope, get the fuck out of here. But this one caught on to the internet because I think right now, because marriage and building families is such a big issue in China and in a lot of places across the world, but I think particularly China because of the gender gap. Yeah, particularly a lot. It's actually not just China, it's here too. Like in the West, it's just as bad. Women do very similar things, yet the culture doesn't even let them do that here. Or, I mean, the culture is quite different from here. Out of more uh, countries with a little bit more late stage capitalism or more capitalism have really, really high divorce yeah. rates. Like, like China's moving towards 50%. The US is already over 50% on divorce rate. Mm -hmm. This is common. Think about it. So there's like about 30 million more men of marriage age than women that is an issue and not not only that but a lot of men and women they want to leave china right for different opportunities to move out maybe they marry foreigners or whatever they want to secure like foreign passports i would say yeah so. so i think it's kind of weird i think the only weird thing is is during this time when it seems like so hard to have a child to live in the big city to get married as chinese people then like a story like this comes out i'm sure again it could happen anywhere but i guess it just goes to show you guys this man versus woman thing and this whole how to marry, how yeah. not to get married thing is going on all across the world. Yeah. This is not just a New York City, oh, it's hard to get married here issue. This is right. like a global thing. But I think it looks different in every country because yeah. yes. there's an ancient culture that's being layered with this modern late stage yeah. capitalism. And then there's the intersection of those two layers. And obviously America doesn't have any ancient culture to inter, uh, interface with, to be honest. I mean, I think the thing about like masculinity and muscles and money all being one bucket in China, I feel like for me as a guy, I'd like to see that change, but it's sort of like the gun culture in America, even though it should change, I don't really have any hope for it changing. You know what I mean? Because culture runs deep. It's very difficult to change culture. I mean, obviously not everybody in China's like this, Andrew, but what do you think about these stories that do occasionally come out of, you know, faraway provinces, sometimes outside of the big city, where they almost feel like they're from 1800s or 1900s like these behaviors almost feel like america was maybe 100 200 years ago more than anything we resembles 2023 well you have the i think the interesting thing is like there's a lot of with social media now it's a lot easier to meet or like through an arrangement right it's easier to meet like people of different economic levels. So Mr. Liu is probably coming from a different economic level than Ms. Dong, and they got set up together. I don't know what the blind, I don't know what that arrange, ranger did. Yo, that, whoever the matchmaker is, they losing their job. Cause that's a terrible matchmaker. <laughs> I pay you money just to lose more money. <laughs> Anyway, guys, let us know what you think of this com in the comment section below. There may be some more deeper details from the <laughs> Chinese internet. What if the match, sorry, one last thing. What if the matchmakers like saying, but Mr. Liu, I told you I was going to get you a date with a beautiful woman. And you said, it doesn't matter what it takes. So I did it. What are you talking about? <laughs> and Mr. Liu was like, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> we got to see a picture of Mr. Liu and then it might make all make sense, man. Yeah, man. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Until next time, we the Hot Pop Boys. We out. Peace. I mean, hypergamy is real. This is why I wanted to do this. Because, you know, even if you go, even as passport bros, you go to, you know, Cambodia, Thailand and things like that. 
you can't expect that there's women not like that there just just because that's women nature this i just want to explain that to you guys why you have to still level up why you still have to you know build you know some charisma and you know bank some money i'm not saying that you're trying to buy women or anything but this is what most women are looking for it's just it's easier for us to handle these things because our money goes so much further in these countries you don't have to be a millionaire to be able to do you know to do the things that these women want so please like and subscribe down below i'd really appreciate it and i'll catch you guys next time ciao time